Percy has lots of jobs along Thomas's branch line, but one of his favorites is pulling the mail train. Every morning he picks up the mail bags from Fafarquhar and then takes them along the main line to the big station at Tidmouth. It's a very important job, and the mail train must always run on time, no matter what. One day, when he returned home from the harbor, Percy didn't feel well at all. Your injector has failed, groaned his driver. What a time to do it. Tom Tipper will be here soon with his mail delivery. There must be another engine who can take the mail, surely, asked Percy anxiously. I don't know, said the station master. Thomas is busy today, and Daisy has just left for the junction. If only... Just then, they all heard a familiar... of a bell. Then Toby arrived from the quarry with Henrietta. Toby, just in time, said the station master. Once he understood the situation, Toby was happy to help. Are you sure you'll be fast enough, Toby? asked Henrietta. You can't risk missing James's connection. There's no choice, said Toby. The station master needs another engine, and I'm it. Don't worry, I'll get there in time. Soon, Tom Tipper arrived in his mail van, and the men set to work to load the sacks of mail into the vans. When they were ready, Percy wished him good luck as Toby puffed away. We'll get there, we'll get there, said Toby confidently. They started out well, but as they passed through the tunnel, they saw someone standing by a lonely cottage waving a red flag. That's Mrs. Kindly, said the driver. I wonder what's wrong. Toby pulled up carefully, and the fireman went up the steps to meet Mrs. Kindly at her door. Is something the matter? he asked. Yes, there is, said Mrs. Kindly. I'm sorry to hold you up like this, but I've written a birthday card for my sister, and I wasn't able to get it to the post box in time. Could you perhaps drop it off for me, please? The fireman didn't know what to think. Well, it's a good thing you stopped us then, he said. We happen to be pulling the mail train today. We'll get your letter delivered, no problem. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. What a time to make a request stop, cried the driver when the fireman returned. Still, we did promise after all. Let's try to make up lost time. So Toby set off again. Luckily, the journey was mostly downhill, so he didn't have to use too much steam. But he still had to stop halfway to allow Daisy a clear run back up the line. By now, Toby was starting to feel tired. Come on, come on, come on, he puffed. I'm too old to dash about like this. But at last, they reached the junction just as James was pulling in. He was surprised to see Toby. Well, that makes a change anyway, remarked James once he heard about Percy. I wouldn't have hurried, though, if I knew that I was getting snail mail. Toby didn't mind. As soon as James had gone, he had a long drink at the water column and then went slowly home. A few days later, Mrs. Kindly wrote another letter. This one she sent to Farquhar, thanking Toby, his driver, and his fireman for being so kind in delivering her sister's birthday card on time. Toby felt pleased at being able to help, and while he agrees that the mail must go through, he'd secretly prefer it to be delivered by someone else.